Okay, um, what is going on guys? Got another Pokemon battle here. Um, this one's actually a very close battle for somebody at the average asylum chat. Uh, you know, I get kind of gayed, like, there's a lot of hacks involved in this battle that go against me, but then again, I'm always getting hacked, so, like, I mean, uh, there's nothing really too new. But, um, yeah. So, I'm gonna go for a Psychic to get some damage off, and, um, he is gonna go for a light screen. Now here, I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, maybe I just didn't see that special defense rises when he uses butterfly dance. I don't think I, I read that. Because I was uh, on Skype while I was taking, while I was doing this battle and shit. So, uh, I guess I didn't realize that and I went for another psychic. And, uh, I thinking it would kill, but of course it's not gonna kill because of that def special defense boost. And he's just going to go for a stab bug buzz, and that's going to kill me with a uh, plus two special attack. So, um, now I don't have an Espeon, but uh, since he led with that, I don't really think he has stealth procs. So I'm going to go and finish him off with I'm Brave, and uh, stab choice banded quick attack. And, uh, of course, I do get the burn hacks, so now this thing's a useless piece of shit because it's attack as half. And, um, it's choice banded, so, like, I mean, this thing is basically fodder right from the fucking beginning. So I'm going to go for, uh, into Fanny Pack as he goes for a Gyro Ball. And um, uh, so I'm going to take this time to set up my uh, Stealth Rock. And um, yeah, Stealth Rock, uh, it's basically whoever has that Stealth Rock up has the advantage, in my honest opinion. Uh, I, I have, like, I really don't like using Stealth Rock, but I figure, like, like if I can't beat it, you might as well just join it. So, um... I'm gonna go back into I'm Brave just as fodder because, uh, you know, I'm just. I don't know what to do at this point with this shit, so I'm gonna go for a Brave Bird here. Stab Brave Bird, and, uh, that does a decent amount. Like, I mean, it doesn't do a lot, but, like, I mean, you gotta take into consideration that this thing is very bulky, let alone I'm burnt. So, um. Yeah, uh. To be honest, that did some pretty nice damage. Now I see he goes for a leech seed here, and I don't want to—I don't want to take too much damage. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to bring back my I'm Brave, and I'm going to go into Toadsworth. Um, Toadsworth is uh, the greatest, one of my favorite walls. I shouldn't say the greatest, but he is uh, one of my favorite special or physical walls I built in physical. And uh, I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Fire, which is super effective, but it doesn't do that much damage since I don't have very many. Um, Actually, I, I don't think I have any special attack EVs in this thing. But, um, yeah, it does damage, but, I mean, it doesn't do a lot. It could also be that he invested in um, special defense, which is also very possible. But I predict the switch here, and I'm going to go for a spore. The uh, reason I predict the switch was because he knows that he can't really stay in because he's taking too much damage, and he's not doing any damage to me. So I know he's going to switch. Now I'm going to put this thing to sleep, and I'm going to go to Transizor. Now, um, here is where I, like, make a really stupid play. I, um, I was looking at Skype, and I, I didn't pay attention to see which one of my stats rose. So, if I went for an Ice Beam, it would have killed him. But, um, I thought my attack might have rose. Because, uh, you know, some people EV these things, put four EVs in, uh, defense, or some in special defense. I don't know, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, I obviously made a really bad play here, and I went for the U-turn. I figured since it was stab, it'd do a lot of damage, but, um, yeah, it did. It, it did a lot, but, I mean, like, it didn't, it didn't do enough that, uh, it, it could, you know, I wanted it to kill, so it didn't really meet my expectations. So, here I go for, uh, an Ice Shard, which is going to take out the Sazendora, and, uh, I'm going to bring my thing out, and, uh, Oh my god, that sounds so perverted. I'm gonna, like, return my Don fan. I'm gonna go into Pidgeot and see what he does. And, uh, that was my main fodder, so I could safely switch into Transizor, and I could yield for a, um, uh, Thunderbolt. Um, I also could have went for a U turn, but I mean, like, Thunderbolt is probably the best option since this thing has 30 base uh, special defense. Now, he goes into Ninjutsu, the, uh, Toxic Croak. So I'm going to go into Toadsworth because I know I can take pretty much anything this thing has. And uh, he's going to go for a substitute. So, I mean, like, it's, it's not really big on my part. Oh, I don't really mind it. 
But, like, I, I'm assuming he's going to be either a focus punching or a swords dancing thing. Which is good, because uh, Toadsworth isn't afraid of these things. He ain't afraid of no ghosts. So I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Fire, which is, uh, I believe it's, it's either neutral or times two damage. Uh, I don't remember, but I did know in the battle. So, um, that's going to break the sub, and I was aware of that, which is why I went for the Hidden Power Fire. And he's going to go for a Swords Dance. Um, you know, he's probably going to think uh, he can set up another one, but pow, I got the Clear Smog. Which is going to uh, return all of his status to normal, and he's got, like, standard everything. So he's set up for no apparent reason. Now he's going to go for another Swords Dance here, I don't know why. Maybe predicting that I wasn't going to, like, keep using Toxic Smog or Clear Smog, whatever. So here I am thinking he's just going to keep using that. But uh, he, he had a plan. He's like, you know what? This man is never going to expect my amazing Sucker Punch. So, um, he goes for the Sucker Punch, and, uh, I pretty, I'm like, you know what, he did it, he's done it once, and I did a good amount of damage, I personally think he's gonna do it again, just to do more damage, so I predict that, and I go for a Spore. Um, this is gonna make this Toxic Croak or Ninjutsu fall asleep, and, uh, that's just amazing, because now I can set up with another Pokemon, but before I leave, I'm pretty sure I go for a Giga Drain just to get some health back, yeah. So, um, it didn't do a lot, but I mean, it, it did give me quite a bit of health back. So, you know, I'm happy that I got that health. And I'm going to switch out into, um, I don't know, let, let, let's see what I switch out into. Okay, I switch out into Fanny Pack, because this thing is, uh, has a uh, dual weakness to, um, what's it called? Uh, he's a times two weakness to Earthquake, or Ground. So, I'm going to go for an Earthquake here. I was thinking I, I should blow away the rocks, but, but uh, since he woke up, I, I kind of really don't want to risk anything. So, I'm going to go straight for the Earthquake, break the sub, and um, I know he's going to use uh, Sucker Punch, but I also know that since I'm very bulky, I can survive at least one. So, um, that is exactly what happens. I get my leftovers, he gets his leftovers, goes for the Sucker Punch, which isn't going to kill me, and I'm going to finish this thing off with Earthquake. So far, it's a really good battle. Uh, uh, we both have some minor misclicks or misplays. And, um, yeah, so he's going to go into Infernape, and this Infernape is one lucky motherfucker. Like, I'm going to tell you that straight up. Uh, he goes for a Flamethrower, which, uh, which is going to take out my Fanny Pack. Now, that's kind of upsetting, but, you know, it happens. So I'm going to go into Zirazukan, and, uh, you know, he's going to go for a substitute as I go for a bulk up. I know that he's attacking special, well, he's using special attacks, but I really want my attack to raise. Now, uh, this, this part of the match is game changing. Like, oh my god, I was so, I was so, like, upset when this happened, but, you know, uh, hacks do happen and shit just goes down. Um, so I'm going to keep, I get two bulk ups, and then I decide, since he's doing that kind of damage, I decide that I'm going to need to get some my health back, and I'm going to go for a Drain Punch. Now, um, before I say anything, uh, I got, I'm going to have to tell you guys that my Zuzuken has, uh, 252, uh, EVs in special defense, 30, uh, 31, um, IVs in special defense, and it's careful nature as well. So, um... That is a fuckload of special defense. So, let's just get back to this battle. Just keep that in mind, though. So, uh, I'm going to keep breaking his substitute, and he's going to keep going to activate his Pattaya Berry. Um, I don't know. I think it's called the Pattaya Berry. I don't know. I don't know some, some shit like that. It's going to raise his special attack. And at this point, he has Blaze. So, um, that's fucking scary. But I, I do know that I am the most bulky fucking... Zirzukin in the world over here with like greatest special defense and I have full health so like I mean you know I'm gonna take anything this guy has and then I'm gonna finish him off so he goes for a flamethrower and my health goes down and down and down and a critical hit so that definitely mattered he said it didn't matter but like I mean you gotta take into consideration that I had like some ridiculous special defense here, I'm retarded, I don't know why I went into this thing, I guess I would just piss it off, like, I was like, whatever, fuck this battle, so I was just picking random Pokemon, 
And here, here, this is, oh my god, I was just so reckless, like, I was gonna go for a fucking flamethrower, but my dumb shit ass goes for a goddamn, um, thunderbolt or whatever. Which fucking sucks, because I'm pretty sure a flamethrower would have killed this thing. So, like, you know, that's gonna take him out the thunderbolt court, but now he's got fucking guns and roses, so, like, I mean, I can't kill this shit anymore with, uh, thunderbolt. See, now, if I didn't fuck up my misclick, and carefully click the... the flamethrower, whatever the fuck it's called, this thing would be dead, I would have won the battle. But, uh, this, this man played it smart. Uh, he's a very good battler, to be honest. But then again, I'm kind of crap, so, like, I mean, I don't know. I also had a battle with one of my subscribers, and, um, oh my god, like, it, I, I just got so raped, like, 4 0 like, <laughs> oh my goodness, it was so horrible. I don't know. You can, just tell me if you guys want to see that. I don't know if you want to or not, but I think I have it on my computer. If not, I guess I'll just tell you how it went. But anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, next next video should have uh, really good quality. Uh, only problem is that it's going to take a fuckload of time to load. So you guys choose quality or quantity. Uh, it's your call. Just leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, hit me up. Peace.